Hey guys, how you doing? BT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, I want to show you a video today on energy usage for a heat pump. And I got my amp uh, clamp and I want to show you how many amps and uh, watts the heat pump is using. It's currently 81 degrees inside the house and we're going to turn the heat pump on and it's 84 outside. Okay, so we're looking at the nest here. And uh, you can see it's 81 and outside, zoom in here, it's 85. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat pump on here. Got it set to 68. And uh, that means a temperature of between 71 to 73 with no humidity in the house. Got it set for automatic uh, fans going, both up and down, left and right as well as uh, automatic circulation for the uh, how much air is coming out. When uh, the heat pump first starts off from Mitsubishi, you got two lights, that means it's drawing a lot of energy. But it doesn't tell you how much, so I'm gonna go downstairs with my uh, clamp meter and see how many uh, amps it's, it's drawing. All right guys, so I got uh, my uh, sub panel opened up here and I have uh, three circuit breakers in here, each are double pulled. Over here I have my hot water heat pump and then up here it's a car charger, uh, 30, amps, 30 amps for the hot water heat pump. Then I have a 20 amp double pull for our new heat pump, which is a Mitsubishi uh, cold climate heat pump, 18,000 BTU mini split. I also have a uh, amp clamp here. Want to send a big uh, shout out thanks to Chris DIYer, uh, his channel on YouTube. Chris did a great job of reviewing this device. Um, it's for thirty-five dollars. It's a steal. It basically does uh, uh, power readings for both AC and DC. And for uh, thirty-five dollars from Amazon, shipped, uh, you can't beat it. So let's go ahead and set this to twenty amps and let's take some readings. Now remember, I just turned on the heat pump, so it's going full bore. Um, and uh, compressor kicked in and everything so uh, it should probably be around um, I'm thinking 8 to 10 amps uh, but let's go ahead and check this out here so I'll clamp the red wire first and looks like it's pulling if you can see that uh, 8 point um, close to 8.8 .8 amps so that's the red wire let's go ahead and do the black wire here it should be the same 8.66 all right so let's go ahead and, and figure this out here just off the top of my head 8.8 .8 amps at times 240 volts uh, we're looking around it's around uh, 2100 um, watts of energy okay so eight amps right now and uh, once the house cools off it, that will crank down and i'm sure it'll be much lower all right, this thing is doing awesome. It's just cranking out all sorts of cold air right now. Nice and cool. All right, let's check out the compressor here. See what's doing here. Wow, that is some hot air coming out. Wow, I don't want to stand in front of this too long. Get too hot. It's definitely doing its job. All right, so I uh, just uh, plugged in the uh, amp meter again. It's about 10 minutes later, and it's reading uh, 6.4 amps being drawn, and the house is about 78, and it's been about 10 minutes. All right, guys, just checking back with you here. The house has cooled down. It's a couple hours later, and I want to show you where the heat pump is running right now. So check this out. Heat pump is running at roughly 1.72 amps. How awesome is that? Okay, 1.7, 1.8 amps. So you know, times that by 240, we're talking what, four or 500 watts? Pretty cool. Um, you know, you can't beat that for uh, the efficiency of the uh, if, of having air conditioning right now in the summer is pretty awesome. All right, so I just thought I'd check in with you here and uh, show you some of the uh, energy draw from some of our devices. Of course, this is all solar powered when it's uh, sunlight out being grid tied. And at night, uh, we're drawing from the grid. But hopefully uh, sometime in the future, 
I'll be uh, taking a lot of these devices off grid with a new setup. All right, well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You know what to do. Subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment. I'll also leave a comment, and uh, we'll catch you next time.